Rocky shores are a place of peace and tranquility. A place where you can walk among nature, admiring the beautiful and diverse landscape that you only get to explore when the tide retreats. It's calming, it's relaxing, until you encounter this species. I just put my hand literally next to a rock and this crab went for me. And no wonder it's my favourite crab and the evilest of all the crabs is the devil crab. Which, um... Oh god, he's pretty big. I'm gonna film him first and I'll see if I can try and pick him up, but like... Ow! Dude! That's so mean! <laughs> So if this is a weird angle, then that's why. Oh my god, I'm so excited. That was so, so cool. I, uh, finding species like that, it pains me. It literally... One second, let me just get the water off the lens. It literally pains me to walk away because I could sit there and watch them for hours. When I tell you this is my favourite species on the entire planet, it is my favourite species on the entire planet. And I mean, I haven't been pinched by a crab in... I can't, I can't remember the last time. And like... I don't know, that didn't properly pinch me because if it had, it probably would have drawn blood. He was quite big. I think it was more like a warning pinch. I literally just going to sit down on that rock so that I could rummage through the seaweeds. And as I put my hand on it to kind of like lean on it to sit down, my finger must have just kind of got right in his way and he just went for me. And I jumped back and was like, what was that? And is that he is mate guarding or mating with that um, female. So the male's probably on top and the female's underneath. And either they're mating, so I'm not going to bring them out, I'm not going to disturb them. Um, but, or he's mate guarding, so he's sitting with her, guarding her from, you know, any other males that would want to come along and ha have a go. If he wasn't mate guarding or mating, I would have got him out to show you guys, to show you the swimming legs and everything, but I just don't want to disturb him. This out is a general warning to everyone. Um, so the first time I saw a devil crab, I was with some lecturers, and we were rock pooling, and I found this crab and picked it up, and was like, oh wow, I've never seen this crab before, it's got red eyes and wonderful blue legs, like, what is it? And they were like, put it down, put it down, put it down. And uh, it's because they are so aggressive. If any crab is ever gonna, like, pinch you, it's gonna be one of them. They will go at you, regardless of a human. They, they take on a blue whale if they could. They are so aggressive, which is why I love them so very, very much. And, um, uh, so that's the reason why, and I was only having a conversation with yesterday, there's someone that works at a national park and they, they tell their people when they take them out rock balling, do not pick this species up. And it's not because they might harm the species, it's because the species might harm them. <laughs> and hilariously, having talking in the comments with someone about getting pinched by a crab who was worried about it, I was like, nah, it, it, it's not going to happen by accident, it's never really happened, and then boom, it happens to me. Oh. I'm so privileged to be pinched by that crab. Otherwise, I might never have seen it's there. And then my absolute favourite. Oh, I could go home now. I literally, I haven't seen one of these, a proper one of them in years. I am so chuffed. So chuffed to get, and I've never got footage of them. I've never been able to film them. All at uh, all about seeing it. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <gasps> ah! <laughs>
trip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I have tried for years. In fact, in the last video, I even like screamed and shouted about how annoyed I was that yet again I'd seen a squat lobster that just like disappeared off. Like they are like near one. Missed. So many of them. So many. And the reason I wanted to catch them is because I look at them. Look at them. They are beyond incredible and stunning and gorgeous and that one didn't run maybe it was the type of rock pool maybe he just knew we didn't have that much cover it was quite open but like oh my goodness years of trying to film them and it's not like an octopus where i'm looking for one and i haven't had a chance to film them but i've seen them i've seen them and cannot film them and that is so frustrating it's the most frustrating species i have yet not been able to film until now including a devil crab like those two those two and an octopus and you know more nudibranchs they are that's the that's the top of my list and i've never seen a goose barnacle like there's my top two of my top five if not two of my top three species that i've been desperate to film for so long i have just filmed within maybe four meters of each other and ten minutes the rock pulling queen i think so i think so and caps on my crown i'm so happy that species in real life before so it wasn't on my list of species to film because it just kind of wasn't in my brain and isn't he amazing he is the fancy dress winner of the rocky shore because he dresses himself in the seaweeds that he finds around they'll like stick it to themselves it's really cool to hold it like a soft body i was expecting it to be hard but maybe that's something to do with helping the little seaweeds grow on it and stick obviously really timid and shy because that's what they do that's their defence mechanism, is they use the seaweeds and they hide so that they um, don't get eaten. And uh, the only reason I saw that he was here was that it was like a nice clear rock wall that I was looking in. And I saw this bit of like sand go in the water and like float away and nothing moved. And so I was like, ooh, something's hidden there. So I had a quick look and saw that. It, incredible. New species. It's not often I find a new species anymore. And it makes me so happy when I do. That's an incredible counter. Today, we are winning on the crustacean front. This is like a crustacean central.
day, but it's getting so windy. So yes, I am hiding behind this rock, which is the only rock big enough on this entire shore. For me to hide behind, but you're welcome for the break in the wind, which I'm sure is ruining all of my audio. <laughs> Having great fun, having great time though, just makes you work a little bit harder for it, the wind. While I hid from the wind, I also got to check out my lovely barnacle friends and, you know, catch up with them. Loads and loads and loads of new barnacles this year, which is great to see. But just by chance, I then looked down and in this tiny rock pool under this big rock, we have another incredible encounter with another species of squat lobster. What in the world is going on? I can't film. My time is going numb. I can't film a squat lobster for years. Endlessly frustrating. And today, not only do we see the most beautiful, pretty coloured one, we watch one feed. I I don't know how long the footage is. I reckon that's a good 15 minutes of sitting there and watching it feed the most peaceful 15 minutes of my entire life that's it from me on today's video the wind completely destroyed the rest of the audio so i'm just ending it with a voice over please like and subscribe if you like this comment below what was your favorite species we found today and i'll be back next wednesday with another video bye everyone <laughs>